Hi everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this retro graphic style effect. All text is adjustable, as you can see. And then I will show you how to save this text effect as a graphic style and apply it with the one click to any text. And if you're feeling lazy, of course, you can go to the tutorials.net and download this graphic style for free. So let's start with a new document and this document covered with a rectangle and this rectangle has a field that is FF8980. Click OK and lock it on the new layer, clicking on this free space between chevron icon and evil and create a new layer. So on the second layer I have this text. I set this text as a typeface Queenway and um, at the size of 553 points. It has a white fill, but I'm gonna add another fill and another stroke right now with the appearance panel. So go to your appearance panel. If you can find your appearance panel, go to the Windows appearance here or Shift F6 on your keyboard and head on to the bottom left icons. Click on this icon to add a new stroke and click on this icon to add a new fill. So with the fill color selected. Let's go and bring up a color picker. As you can see we now control this fill color, bring up a color picker and paste this color 9941 3a and click OK. Now with the stroke color selected, increase the stroke weight to two points, then click on the stroke to bring up the advanced stroke dialog box and navigate to this checkbox dashed line, set the dashed line with the three points dash and eight points gap. Just like so. Brilliant. With the stock still selected, go under the effect menu, find 3D and click on the 3D extrude and bevel to bring up an extrude and bevel dialog box. In open dialog box, set the X value to negative 5 degrees, Y value to 7 degrees, Z value to 0 degrees. Navigate to the Extrude Depth field, place a cursor and type 272 points of depth. Set the surface to None and click OK to commit the changes. So now we have our letters surrounded with this type of line and I'm gonna nudge this effect down. In order to do that we need to Keep our stroke selected, go to the effect, distort and transform, transform. In open dialog box, set the horizontal move value to around 14 pixels. Check preview, a negative 14 of course. And vertical move value to around 9 pixels. Check preview again. So, so far so good. Probably I'm gonna nudge down again by typing, by increasing the vertical move value to around 14 as well. So let me see. Nope, it's too much. So guys, I'll play with this value. See what works for you. I'm working with an horizontal value of negative 14 and vertical value 11 pixels. Click OK. And next let's select the fill and apply the grain texture. So go to the effect, effect gallery. In open dialog box navigate to the texture and grain. Then go to the sprinkles from this drop down. Set the contrast to around 8 and intensity to around 4. Click 
Okay. Now, guys, when we have this particular effect, let's add another stroke. So, head on to the bottom left of our appearance panel and click on this icon. Add new stroke. Click on the stroke to bring up the advanced stroke options. Uncheck the dashed line, first of all. Then set a color of the stroke to white. And it's increase the stroke weight to 13 pixels. Then push the stroke below the fill. And we are done, guys. This is our graphic style. And our last step is to go to the windows, open the graphic style panel, keep selected this font, and click on this icon new graphic style. It will add this graphic style that you can save here using the library menu, save graphic style. You can give a name, let's say retro, click OK. Now, if you are about to apply this style. I'm going to leave all the default values, go to my user defined graphic styles and apply this retro, retro effect, choose my desired graphic styles. And this is how we can apply a very complex retro effect to the adjustable phone just in a few clicks with the graphic style in Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do give us some bub, go to tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator graphic designer tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.